Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. There was a time when William Ruto was launching Taifa Gas somewhere in Mombasa. And uh, he committed himself to Kenyans to do something that was going to help Mamboga. And at least every kitchen to have a gas, affordable gas. And affordable for us, it is when it's readily available in the market at a price that is affordable by everyone. But when it's not readily available, it's no longer affordable. <laughs> so not a problem is that, number one, by the end, by in the beginning, by June, June Ikeanza, he's going to reduce the price of gas cylinder. And that smallest one will be going for 500 shillings. That for 6 kg is going to reduce by 300 shillings. Ikifika June, mtuingi ya gas itakoi mapunguzo kwa shilingi miyatatu. That was the first promise he gave. Number two, Ruto promise that he's going to remove value added taxes on the gas so that every home and every household is going to afford gas from June. William Ruto. Now, let me quote what he said. We will remove tax on cooking gas and from June the gas cylinder you buy will reduce from 2,800 to 500 or 300. This was William Ruto on 2nd of March 2023. That was William Ruto. Listen to him first. Nirudi hapo. Munasema nirudi hapo. Nirudie. Wacha nirudie. Nimesema hivi. Kwa sababu tunataka kina mama wengi. Mimi nimesema hivi. Kwa wale watu 70% ya Kenya wanatumia kuni na makaa 99% ni kina mama. Sini kweli? Na ili tupunguze garama ya gas. Tumesema tunaondoa ushuru. Na mbili ile mtungi mnanunua. Kuanzia mwezi wa sita. Iyo mutungi itatoka shilingi elfu mbili na mianane mpaka shilingi miatano ama miatatu. During an interview at State House, William Ruto set record straight by clarifying that he did not talk of refilling gas, but the price of gas cylinder is going to drop to 300 shilling and not in June, but somewhere in the future, the question is, what happened to Taifa gas plant that was to be set up in Mombasa? Just listen to William Ruto when he was responding to the issue of the gas. Wambia wa Kenya kwamba itakapofika tare mosi mwezi juni, bei ya gesi ya mtungi wa kilo sita, itapungua kati ya shilingi miatatu na miatano. Hivi sasa wa Kenya wanasubiri. Siku kumi tano kutoka sasa. Wanataka kufahamu wapo mipango yote iko line kifika tarehe moja. Mwezi juni wataka poenda katika maduka haya ya kununua gesi. Wataipata gesi hii kwa kati ya shilingi miatatu na miatano. Um, lazima kwanza tupitishe uh, hii kwa budget. You know, it's your, it's your, lazima tutoe garama ya no. tuondoe. Kwa sasa hakuna njia ya kuondoa ushuru mpaka budget ipite. Uwezi uhakikishia kwamba kifika tarehe moja Juni. Tarehe moja Juni haiwezekani mpaka ya. pengine kama ulivyosema awali. Mpaka tutapitisha mm. hii eh, hii mswada pale bunge ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba tunateremsha hiyo bei. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu kwamba wa kuongeza kwa mabadiliko. Ku, kuongeza kuongeza kwa kama tungepitisha hii jambo mm. kwa eh, supplementary budget. Mm. June ingewezekana mm. lakini tulijaribu kuisukuma kwa supplementary budget 
ikawa haiwezekani kwa sababu ili, ilikuwa inatubidi tubadilishe sheria fulani mm. ndio tuhakikisha kwamba hilo tendo inafanyika Lakini sasa mwa... tumeipanga mm. tumeipanga vizuri mm. e, tumehakikisha ya kwamba hiyo e, e, iko katika bajeti yetu umeona waziwazi na vile vile tumesema tutachukua ile pesa ambayo tunatumia e, tunaokota ushuru mm. kutoka mambo ya e, e, kerosene mm. yeah? tutaitumia kusecuritize ndio tupunguze gharama ya mtungi ya gas ndio sasa uongeze yes. gas ndani yake lakini mheshimiwa ukiwa 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 uh, samburu na kumbuka vizuri sana ulipotoa tangazo la kwanza tena baadaye katika ukumbi wa mikutano ya kimataifa na akina mama hapa KCC mm. ukutaja maswala ya kwamba lazima mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2020 na 2023 uh, na upite kwanza ulitangaza so, tu waziwazi kwamba utapunguza so, na itakuwa ni hewala kwa so, kila <laughs> sasa mimi nataka nikuulize wewe <laughs> Hii ni nchi ambayo inafuata sheria. Mm-hmm. Ya? Yeah? Si umesikia huyu bwana akiniuliza eh, utafanya ni kwa sababu gani? Mm-hmm. It, we are a country governed by the rule of law. No. Nimekueleza. Kama tungepitisha hiyo mswada kutumia supplementary budget mwezi wa sita ingewezekana. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa sababu hatukupitisha tutapitisha kwa sasa katika budget yenyewe. Kutoka ba- baada ya hapo hiyo gesi itapatikana. Kutokana na mabadiliko hayo utaomba wa Kenya radhi. Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Wewe ndio uko wewe wewe ndio uko wewe ndio uko na shida na mimi. Wa Kenya hawana shida. Okay, Mr. President. Now we are continuing the panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing. To the Italian Supreme Basa Master, thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now Kenyans it is now on your side to understand who William Ruto is his first statement when he was in Mombasa launching Taifa gas then his new statement at state house some people are getting too much angry with William Samuel Ruto so much angry because he's a man you cannot understand him anything he talk you you don't know if you should you believe or you should not but now it is clear there's no statement from ruto that you should take it serious there's no iota of truth in anything that ruto will come to public and say it was very clear and by the way he's an apologetic he's not ready to apologize it was clear when he was in mombasa he said the gas cylinder will go for 500 to 300 shillings so that everyone can afford imagine from 2800 this promise it will be coming it will come down to 500 today he is speaking like he never said so April no June is next month. We are remaining barely with the 15 days to June. That's when his promise should be fulfilled. But now he is coming to deny what he said and he want to twist things and bring in other issues. So that it to be seen like he was misquoted. To look like people misunderstood him. No, we got you clear. He promised something different but now he want to deliver a different thing. The truth was that Roto said he's going to remove value added taxes to gas. That was gas. He said now the gas will not be taxed and that was supposed to be reciprocate in your kitchen because now it will be affordable. So he was reducing the cost of having gas so that everyone can now move from charcoal firewood and the use of paraffin to now gas today he saying no so vat is coming on gas it will be taxed you will pay tax it is going to go very high 
I'm surprised. Is it 14 kg of gas which was going for 1,200 somewhere, something there? Nowadays it's going for, is it 2,000 and something? But he wanted to bring more VAT on that. People anticipated that the same way that 14 kg gas cylinder uh, that was going for 14 kg gas that was going for 1000 during Huru time is going to go maybe for 500 or somewhere 600 there but the worst is coming to happen don't expect anything good from this government Ruto has now confirmed that he was lying he was giving a popular statement to whip the emotion of and you can see the worst thing is that people are celebrating wa mama waliruka juu wali sherekea ilikuwa shangwe nda remo na migelegele waliona hiyo siku kusasa mungu wame wafikia kumbe yule mungu wanyali wafikia siyo yule mungu wa mbinguni siyo yule mungu wa meshag shadrak na abednego huya alikuwa tunu yule mungu wa ruto na mungu wa ruto siyo yule mungu wa mbinguni kama kweli Mwambo ya mungu ruta na sema Ile jana na ufanisha na ile egine Unajua ruta sasa ni muongo Na baba wa waongo ni shetani Sasa yule mungu wa ruto ni shetani So yule mungu wa mbiguni Sasa so, mungu wa mbiguni ni mungu wa ukweli Si muongo Shetani ndiyo muongo na ye ndiyo baba wa waongo Kama ruta lidanganya wanainchi Wanainchi wajua kwanzia leo Mungu wa ruto ni shetani Yes, that's the Bible. So today, our women, our mothers, our sisters were lied by William Ruto. So imagine Ruto is not differentiating between running a government and the campaigning. This governance, there is an issue of governance. You don't need to lie to people, tell them the truth so that they will understand you going forward. He's still in campaign mode, He's still giving promises. There's difference between campaigning and running a government. Governance is different from campaign. So being a president, you need those two faces. Face of governance and face of a politician. Ruto does not differentiate. He's always wearing the face of a politician, but not governance. We have one of the worst CEO in this country. Who's his word can never be his bond. Tuko na raisi mwongo. 